Unfortunately, we are experiencing something around the world that, uh, as one YouTuber friend I know calls it, the sickness. But you guys know what I'm talking about. The NBA season has been canceled, and the NCAA tournaments have also been canceled. And the flight restrictions from the United States to Europe, Donald Trump has canceled flights for the next 30 days. And so the whole world seems as if it is on lock. And, you know, because of this in particular, economies are slowing down. Um, even in parts of Africa where you will feel a lot of the situations occurring where goods and services won't be able to come in. And now there will be some people who will be affected by this the most. I think this is going to be women, in my opinion. And one of the reasons is because during situations of national health and where things close down and things can be dangerous also at the same time. This is typically a, a time where a woman depends on a man. And a lot of women who have been talking about they don't need a man will change their tunes, in my opinion. I'll, I'll, even in Africa, you're starting to see a lot of women feel the effects of the epidemic because many of them, if they have shops, they've lost business, um, clothes are getting expensive, things are getting expensive, goods can't come into the country. And all of a sudden, women are getting nice. Women are not being as, as mean, right? Women are being more pleasant. And I think that the price of you, the you know what, is going to drop. And, and here is the situation. You're going to see a lot of women who talked about how they didn't need a man. But when they go to Costco and find out all of those things are out of stock and you know, where, where, where crime could typically go become more rampant because of the epidemic we're going. Watch how a lot of women start to act nice. Watch how a lot of them start to change their tune. Because, see, a lot of the anti-men talking points and stuff like that, that works well in situations where there is no problems. But in situations where it can become a big problem, where things are shutting down, where, you know, you need help, where you might not be able to work or you might not have a career that you can benefit off of and stuff like that. Now, all of a sudden, you might need some people you can depend on. You might need some help. And all of a sudden, here are going to come those text messages. Hey, boo, how are you? Just seeing what's up. Haven't talked to you in a long time. You know, haven't hollered at you. Haven't seen this and that. Haven't done this and that. You know? This is where they're at with this, bro. I'm telling you. And also, you might hear, and don't be surprised. You know, you was always good looking. You know, you was always, you know, looking good. Or, you know, you, do you have, you got food over at your house? Can I come kick it over there? Simply because they don't got it. And, and again, don't be shocked by this. Chicks all across the world are going to change their tune. Because those friends who you, you know, when you with a guy or whatever, uh, a lot of the, the, the females, they'll be with a guy and they'll take pictures of everything around the guy but him. But they'll post their female friends. They'll post everything else. Here's a skinny on this, man. Now you're going to start to find out that those friends 
that you're around that you're trying to impress, they can't do nothing for you. They can't help you lift no big bottles of water. They can't help you do this. They can't help you. They can't help protect you right now. They can't do nothing. In fact, they're looking for the same thing you're looking for. And they're going to do anything to maintain it. If the situation gets worse, prices on a lot of goods and services in certain countries are going up. Weave is going to be astronomical in Africa. Astronomical prices on the continent. Trust me when I say this. The price of weave is going to go up. Makeup, clothing is going up. And their lifestyles are going up. See, a lot of brothers, we cool. We just, you know, we already got our shoes. We already got our stuff. Our stuff ain't going to go up. And if you're in the United States, you might be all right. But if you're in the other countries, it's going up. Now everything is different now. And see, that's the problem. That's the problem. So like I said, this epidemic is going to bring a lot of femininity back in America, definitely in third world countries. Femininity will be back. And in times like this, in dire straits, where things shut down, this is when women depend on men the most. They depend on men the most in times like this. You will not hear a lot of anti-feminism talking points about men. No, you won't. You're just not going to hear it. So, guys, what do you think about this? Hit the bell. Subscribe to your boy. As you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Oh, go to the first comment and find all the stuff. Peace.